am so happy. We had a good Easter too. We had ham and potatoes and greeny beanies. It was very, very nummy. Say, did the Easter Bunny come to your house? Wow, how cool is that? The Easter Bunny came to our house too. Easter morning, Katie came and woke me up and said, Hey, Squiggles! And I said, Yeah? And she said, Squiggles, the Easter Bunny brought you a present. And I'm like, He did? Why would the Easter Bunny bring me a present? I'm not a human. Katie said, Well, he did. And I said, Well, I sure I believe it. Let's go see. So she and I went to the other room and there right next to her Easter basket was something for me. He brought me a chocolate Easter bunny. Wow, I like white chocolate and that's what he brought me. Would you like to see it? Okay, here it is. Take a good look. is my favorite and you know the best thing about the bunnies when you take a bite you can take the ears off and then the bunny looks kind of funny ha in today's bible story jesus was alive again just after that's why we celebrate easter now afterwards he came to see his disciple friends but one of them was missing. Thomas was not with the other friends. And he did not believe that Jesus had come to see them. I think we should read the story from the Spark Story Bible. I'm going to ask you to have your grown-up press pause on this video. And then you can go get your Spark Story Bible and follow along with me. So, okay. I'll wait till you come back. Go get your Bible. Oh, good, you're back. Okay, our story today is on page 492. And it's called Doubting Thomas. Doubting means that you, you don't really believe it. So let's read the Bible story. Here we go. The disciples were hiding in a house the night that Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, with this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I'm in heaven. You now have the power to do the things I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple not there that night. When he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus' visit. This is kind of a cool story. Jesus wants us to tell others about him. Let's see what happens next. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds. Wounds are always. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus said, come here. Give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. 
Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord and my God, he explained. Jesus answered him, you believe because I'm here with you and you've touched me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. That's a great story. And that's a great thing to remember. Even though we can't see Jesus, we believe. And we should tell others about him too. My goodness, it's been such a fun week with the snow and the sunshine and Easter. I really miss all of you. Before we go, let's, stay, let's say a short prayer. So let's fold our hands and bow our heads and say, Dear God, when we have questions or doubts, help us to trust in you. Thank you for loving me. Amen. It was so good to see you. I kind I miss all of you. I hope you are doing well. Until next week.